And to, hey, hey, and to that dick riding YouTuber that corn blast him, nigga, suck my yeah. dick on game. Oh, hey, please. Oh, please. Oh, 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 so I looked at the computer, the computer said, Floyd said, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Nelly fucked your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance, say fuck that nigga. Damn. This should be a lesson to all factions who plan on talking bad on Quan Blastum. Dot, cause Marshall didn't get packed for cheating. They really got packed for dissing on me, really sending hits. Can't say too much though them people be listening. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going over the deadly gang war between Sneak Gang and Marshall Gardens. This is one of the craziest wars in the city. Even civilians aren't safe when they target each other. I know last time I called Marshall the Bobcats, but let's rank them up. They started off as the Charlotte Bobcats, but due to recent events, they are now the Washington Wizards. Take this rating or leave it. With all that said and done, let's get right to the video. It can't be a video including Sneak Gang without the thing that really kicked everything off, my favorite shooting by far also. Marshalls would be online dissing a deceased Sneak Gang member and dead members of Risky Road. This wouldn't sit right with them. They were close with Risky Road and they couldn't tolerate disrespect towards their own dead. They drove to Marshalls hopping out. They ran inside of the building letting off shots. The first person to die was someone who wasn't a member of Marshall, but close with them his name was Taysky. They didn't stop there they fired shots into the doorway that led into Marshall's. They would kill someone else by the name of Draco he was a member of the gang TTE 300. He was just there at the wrong time. They would attempt to flee the scene, but Marshall was hot on them. They took chase after the sneak gang members. Firing shots at them they would tag a member or two, but they didn't succeed. This was another successful drill for sneak gang. Go, go, go. Duck your head, duck your head, duck your head, head, duck your head. head. She was dead, she was dead. Go on this, go on Watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out. Hold on, hold on, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Who's that? One of y'all. It was shot! What you buying if you shot? Get that nigga! Move off, ho. It ain't nothing to be. You know, it ain't nothing to hide about, ho. Niggas can't say nothing to me, huh? Oh! Oh! You can't shoot through that. You can't shoot through that. You can't shoot through that. Can't shoot through that, fo. Fuck. It's over. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Move, move, move. Wow, I hit him three times, fo. What's the buy him three times? Fuck. Oh. Nigga. Hit that nigga three times. Marshall would be trying to get back after the death of Taysky. They slide through Sneak Gang's hood. They decided to stop on the side of their buildings. Wick ran through a broken gate, but the other members didn't follow him. This miscommunication would ruin everything. Wick ran through the gate. Little did he know his gang wasn't behind him. He reached a place which placed him behind the Sneak Gang members. He began to shoot at them. He let off a lot of shots, but it wasn't enough he wasn't able to kill anyone. As he tried to run away and get back to the car he was already being chased by multiple Sneak Gang members. They would shoot him multiple times in his back. He was dead on the scene. 
The other members would try to shoot at the other, but they also didn't kill anyone, most they did was hit one member. This drill could have went good if everyone was on the same timing in the car, only if they knew what the game plan was beforehand. Yeah, the ops at the party. Yo, Bitch ass nigga! Bitch ass nigga, what you talking about? Fuck out my hood, ho! You a dead ass bitch! Yeah, this is my song. Shit, the ops at the parties, but now. Yo, we on the block. <laughs> Goofy on my homies, bitch ass nigga. Fuck you talking about? Fuck out my hood. He was a dead homies. ass bitch. Yeah, this is my son. Yeah, Hello? the ops at the party. Yeah, we on the block. <laughs> Sneak gang would be hanging around the air with beam team when they got the drop on someone from Marshall. They would quickly rush to their car. They drove to Marshall's hood which isn't far. They hopped out once again rushing in the building shooting anyone they saw. They ended up killing three people, blitz from takedown gang, killo someone from COE, the 600 link up, meaning click on everything, and some random nigga sitting on a bench, who was that nigga? This shooting was crazy, because they ran all the way into the buildings. This was an overall bloodthirsty hit, they wouldn't stop at this though. Bitch! Say nobody. That's for Millie, bitch ass nigga. Dritch is ass. Took your pipe, took your pipe. Hawk him, hawk him. Hawk him, hawk him, hawk him, hawk him, hawk him, hawk him, hawk him. Bitch. That's a melee bitch ass nigga. Goofy ass nigga. Fuck you talking about? Jayski was allegedly a member of Marshall Gardens. I say allegedly because I've heard he was someone who lived there but didn't gang bang. He just dissed a lot. This dissing would be what got him killed. I really don't know the backstory of this too much. But I'm going to try my best based on context clues. Jayski got into it with a member of Sneak Gang by the name of Silas. They would end up agreeing to link up and fight. Silas didn't want to fight. They both came solo. Silas arrived there first waiting by his car. A lady would pull up to get gas. Silas warned her to get away from the gas station. Luckily she listened. Just as she drove away Jayski arrived on his bike. He got off trying to take off his backpack. But Silas pulled out a gun shooting him broad day. This was a dumb move on the end of Jayski going to meet up solo with someone who you know will kill you if given the chance.
Puba, someone who was backdoored by a female for Marshall, because he was allegedly a part of Sneak Gang. Marshall would get a female to set up someone by the name of Puba. They would drive to a gas station where both her and Puba got out the vehicle. I don't have much knowledge on this shooting so I'm guessing that she either dropped the location to the Marshall members or that was a pre-chosen destination. But either way not long after members of Marshalls would pull up. One of the shooters is a Marshall member by the name of Nietzsche. He is also a part of the COE link up. The other shooters' names I don't know, they pulled up to the gas pump next to him hopping out the car, they let off shots. Before fleeing the area, Puba was found dead on the scene. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Dude. Come on, 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 come on! This shooting right here has a lot of things going on so make sure you pay attention. Sneak gang would be out sliding but this time, they would slide through beam team's turf before hopping out shooting from deep. They wouldn't be able to kill anyone shooting from deep. They rushed back to their vehicle trying to escape, Marshall members started to return fire. The driver would be fumbling with the keys and couldn't start the car. But when he was able to they didn't make it far before Marshall's gun fire rendered the car unusable. This shooting resulted in for deaths to sneak gang members by the name of Keem and JP and to people from Marshall's named Lil Long and Jado. One of the deaths coming from the Marshall's side would be done by Chicago police. They shot one of them with a shotgun twice in the back which killed him his name was Little Lon. And one of the other deaths was claimed by Silas a member of Sneak Gang, the person he killed was Jado. This was one of the craziest shootings between these two gangs, but the war still isn't over. Try here for a step. <laughs> Chill gang, you don't gotta map that gang. Be on his ass, nigga. Fucking goofy, nigga. Yeah. Bitch, come here. All that running. All that running, bitch. All that running, bitch. Stop running, bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We on his ass, we on his ass, nigga. Fucking goofy, nigga. Fuck. Where he at? Where he at, nigga? Oh, I need one, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm tired. Oh, shit. Watch out, watch out, Funnel, watch out. This back door that I'm going to cover is just unexpected. A member of Sneak Gang by the name of Silas was backdoored by a female for Marshall. 
but what made this backdoor so crazy was where Silas died. He was playing tennis with the female little did he know Marshalls had his location. He backed up to the gate, he then looked over his shoulder, and he saw some men running towards him with weapons. He pulled out his gun attempting to shoot back hitting one male, but sadly he was gunned down on the tennis court. At least he went out shooting, but he really died playing tennis. Niggas pull up, I up my gun. Nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm blowing my gun before I die. And then I died. Pump. Yep, 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 yep. Quay, someone who was an X-Beam team member, who would eventually start hanging around Sneak Gang. Marshals would be out looking to score when they rolled past Sneak Gang's hood. They spotted an op they knew by name someone yelled from the car Quay with Quay responding. Little did he know the mistake he made. They hopped out the vehicle letting off shots at Quay. He tried to run, but he wasn't fast enough. He was gunned down in front of Sneak Gang's hood. Yeah. Oh. Yo, Quay. Yo. Uh. Hello. Oh. Oh. Gardens, boy, stop missing. Yo, Quay. Yo. Uh. Yo, Quay. Had to give this video to Marshalls, they came a long ways from the Bobcats. Like always, if you have a video idea, join the Discord linked in the description. With all that said, see you in the next video.